saudades do Brasil. You already know all the spots in Rio that my soul brother Fink Macho and I showed you. Before I open a bit of our trip to you, let's get to know a bit more of my country, Brazil. Brazil is the size of a continent. All the countries of European Union could fit inside Brazil's border twice over. You heard it well. We fit them all. Combined, Brazil's 27 states are bigger than the contiguous United States. The official language in Brazil is Portuguese, and Brazil is not all jungle as you probably think. Brazil is one of the planet's most important world environmental heritage, and it has six different biomes. Now that you know a little bit more about Brazil, let me show a little bit more of Rio, which is part of the Atlantic Forest biome. As we say in Brazil, Rio is blessed by God and beautiful by nature. Once you are here, you will want to see one of the seven wonders, Christ Redeemer. And there is where we are going to. How are you feeling, Maria? Very good. <laughs> We're going to see one of the seven wonders of the world. Which is me. Oh, oh <laughs> One of them. like 100 degrees, I am sweating like hell, looks like I came from the sauna, and Crystal is just up there, there is where he is, I'm going to get very soon on his arm. Rio gives the sensation of being the jungle, but you're actually in a very popular and modern city. Combined with old Portuguese architecture from the colonial time, only 15 to 20 minutes by Uber from Ipanema, you will get to Orto Waterfall in Parque da Tijuca. Back to this walk. There are three waterfalls in total in Tijuca's park. The first one is just next to the road, and you need a bit of a hike to access the other two. It's not hard, but it's not easy either. There are so many other amazing cities to visit in Brazil, and they are all different from one another. But one thing I can assure to you, you won't have a bad time in any of them. We had few days in Paraty, a colonial city in Rio de Janeiro state, with amazing islands and colonial houses. After a long day on the boat, the night was just to relax in the city center. Olha pra cá, bonitinha. Cadê minha irmã? Do you really think that there isn't cruising in touristic and colonial little towns in Brazil? Well, think again. My two Brazilian friends will show you a bit of Praia Brava. 
There is a bus every 30 minutes from the main station and it takes approximately 30 to 45 minutes to get to Praia Brava. Then, you have a small trek of 15 minutes to get to the nudist beach. And it can be very cruising in the weekends among the rocks. And of course we did not stay only in Rio de Janeiro state, we went to see the gay scene in other places in Brazil, like few cities in the south, as I am from there. We spent a good 5 days in Florianópolis, the capital of Santa Catarina state. This is known by locals as the Magic Island, and I will make you understand why. This is a track to go to the naked beach, so just come with me and let's go. Let me show you the main gay beach area where you must go when you're here. It's about 15 to 20 minutes to get to Bar do Deca, and then another 20 to 30 minutes to get to Galeta. Olha, ela vem, ela vem pro Brasil e, fim, e acha que é banheiro, né? This is called golden shower to the plants. Whee! It's raining. And we arrived at Bar do Deca, the gay bar. People tend to go to the nudist beach Galeta first and towards the evening come to Deca for the evening party. And we are doing the same, going to Galeta for the afternoon cruising and free clothes and bathing. Praia da Galeta. You have to do a small trek and then you get to the point where you can get your clothes off. I'm looking forward to that. Of course, I didn't film all the way walking towards the end where you find the rocks because there are loads of people naked and YouTube is going to ban me not only that I don't want to annoy people with my camera um, I don't mind showing myself naked but you know not everyone's like me anyway this is the beginning of the track where you find the cruising in Galeta Beach while I'm talking to you at Nantes just beat my food and I'm going to go in the trail of course I'm not going to film it for you but you know what else you want? I already took you to the gay beach. Now I took you to the naked beach. And now I'm taking you to the cruising. I mean, guys, I'm doing a lot. And I'm going to go there, turn off my camera to do a little bit more. But this time, for myself. Or I hope when you find this place, you have loads of fun. Mm -hmm. After spending the afternoon in Galeta, we spend the night at Bar do Deca, partying. This bar is very famous in the gay community because it's a far out beach and also because there is some tracks just behind the bar that becomes very cruising during the party. But I mean very intense cruising. Take a repellent with you if you don't want to be eaten by mosquitoes. Florianópolis also hosts a very good gay carnival full of great parties. Now it's official. I'm leaving. Time to close the door, go to the bus station, and uh, run to my mother's house to have mom's food for a couple of days and then go back on the road again to make content for you. Because I'm a very nice guy. I'm a very, very, very nice guy. Before going to have a break at my family's house, we were also in Balneário Camboriú, another good place during summertime and one hour and a half by car from Florianópolis. If I don't find anybody else, I'm going to attack you. Just to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Chegamos em Balneário Camboriú, a blogueira tá tirando foto. And that's the view that you have of the town.
And of course, I couldn't come to Brazil and not show the city that I was born. Porto Alegre. Porto Alegre is the capital of the bottoms of Brazil. I mean, of the bottom state of Brazil. Approximately two hours by plane from Rio and one from Florianópolis. Porto Alegre is known to be a very green place. It has one tree for each inhabitant living in the city. We are going to do one of my favorite things when I am in Porto Alegre. First one, bicycle. You get this Itaú bike that you can download the application and you can rent any bike that you find around the town and uh, then you can go on the cycle path and see the sunset and the lake which is a must and that's what you're going to do now I'm trying to ride and film at the same time I'm a very good rider as you see, I'm afraid actually to kiss the floor just because I make a video. So pray for me, and hopefully nothing's gonna happen. My pretty face is going to be intact for the rest of my holiday. Mm, look at this nature. I also took the opportunity to meet old friends that I have known since I was in primary school. The poor do so, and, and this is my best friend from Porto Alegre. I, I don't know. I, I, no, conozco, uh, no hablo, uh, Hello, no hablo nada. <laughs> and that's it. Hello, my name is Jessica. <laughs> this is the sunset. The sun didn't come, it was behind the clouds, but uh, we can keep on looking at me. Maybe the view is much better. <laughs> the sun went down, and we are still up up to go out and meet gaúchos, and also my sister. After Cabaret, we went to Club Liberty. Obrigado. I'm at the international known DJ and my friend Rick Briley. He's also from Porto Alegre and he also lives here. If you remember well, he opened the water park party at the circuit in Barcelona. Go and watch my video in Barcelona if you didn't. We ended up in an after party at his house after the club. This quiet will not remain for too long. It was a such crazy experience, we ended up at Rick's place, having him playing for us. It's quite pricey to see him playing in the gay events around the world. And it all happened in my hometown. As Fiki Macho says in the other video, Eu amo Brasil! Okay, this trip's not ended yet. After here, we flew to Foz do Iguaçu, in Brazil, to see the Iguaçu waterfalls and kept on going to Argentina. But this is something for another video, otherwise it will be too long. And I know you like a long one, right? But as Cristina Aguilera once said, good things come for boys who wait.
And you, have you been to any of these places? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will see you again to continue this trip together. XOXO, your gay guide.